and went and got me a clip. I was just moaning, moaning, moaning with the music, and all of a sudden, there we are. It's like a surprise. It's like a surprise to me every week. It is. If I were in your room, I think they did everything in life to be a surprise. Pleasantly, oftentimes. Pleasantly, often. I told you, I'm just getting more and more forgetful. Well, that's what my girlfriend said to me in a pause. But I said, okay, so we'll pass. I said, oh, no. Yeah, it just tells you. It made you worse. It just, it'll just stay with you from now on. It's a, it's a thing that you're going to have to go through. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm passing through it as we well, speak. And maybe you won't suffer as much as other people do. Some people go through it without any problems. Exactly. I hope, I hope never to miss a beat. Yeah. So I've, I've, gone, I've already gone through it. Did you go through mm-hmm. it? And you came out the other side? Sure. Time? Good for you, Dan. You can be a testament. Yeah. I'm going to hide my water. I'm going to hide my water. Oh, but I had a suggestion for a gift. Uh-huh. I was, uh, today I went with my friend to buy me one more. Not for me, but for my friend. But I got to thinking. Uh, this friend forgot to change the oil, and so burnt the motor up, so mm-hmm. the friend will remain. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about these things. And I said, when, when I got divorced about 10 years ago and moved out of my own, I went and had to go buy a new meter and a lawnmower and things like that. Well, after a couple of years, the lawnmower wasn't working so well. And I have to start it asking around at work. And we've already talked about this male female thing Mike and I have over here. And so, yes, it's sexy, <laughs> but I won't ask men, okay? And I won't ask the men at work. Well, I'm going to do my lawnmower, okay? So, anyway, uh, David Bimler, sweet, sweet dear David Bimler, uh, said, we didn't leave the gas in it, did you? And I said, what do you mean? It's like over the winter. Didn't you, like, run the gas out? Yeah. And I'm, I said, well, was I supposed to? He came aside and said, yes. So the point of this story, um, which I eventually always get to now, more or less, uh-huh. we could use a guest, and maybe we could find Stanley, but like a small, you know, just kind of like... Little well, segment. Yeah, because I know that there are a lot of women in this town. Uh-huh. I mean, unfortunately, there are a lot of widows in this town. Who maybe their husbands are kind of taking care of the small, easy thing, mm-hmm. and the little repairs around the house mm-hmm. and, and stuff you like that. You know what you're saying about them, Scott? You know, yeah, he's he, not, but Bobby probably can fix your own more, can't you? For people that know we're talking about Jess Ross Chandler, he's, yeah. he's a mechanic. Oh, I know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 he's a car builder. Okay. He's a tea bucket man. Well, I knew that. The tea buckets and one more, you got the same thing. This basic concept of piston engine cams. But seriously, you know, things like that would be a very good segment on this show. I just can say I'm not the only female in Baxter County who doesn't know or did not know that you have to dump out your gas yeah. and your oil and things well, you, like that. I'm sure you're not always mad, but who knows? Well, you used to not have to do that. But the way the engines are made, everything's aluminum now, and the carburetors are made out of plastic, and I'm loving that, too. I used to leave the gas in, but I can't do it anymore. I've like gone through three lawn mowers in the last three well, years. Well, David, there's nothing wrong with it. But mm-hmm. apparently, David, you know, can you do the Well, then, 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 you, then you've got ethanol in the gas. Which causes a major problem. Right, it's not, it's not, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't really start, it just belts around this really thick black stuff. Uh-huh. Um, but fortunately, while I lived in Mountain Home, uh, there's a man in town uh, named Bruce Cox. He's yeah. a plumber, is what he is. Mm-hmm. Mr. Cox apparently has taken uh, pity on me because I've had to call him a couple of times to come and take care of the house. And it kind of dawned on me, I was like, you know, kind of helpless when it came to things like this. Mm-hmm. So if he was there, he would just like, you know, ask me if I needed anything taken care right. of. And he was just right. the nicest man in the world. Mm-hmm. Great guy. Mm-hmm. And so he would kind of like shake his head. And one time he gave me some little wrenchy looking thing. As he said, don't you have one of these? I said, no. He said, dear, you just keep this one. <laughs> I said, yeah. Yeah. So. That's not your forte. It's not my forte. And uh, I never really did it before. And so there wasn't a crash course, and it's kind of like powder puff mechanics. Right. Sometimes those go tech uh-huh. places. And I used to always uh, tell Phil Garner after college he needed to do a, a powder puff mechanic class mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. a lot of women, yeah. I mean, something goes wrong, and you don't know whether it's something like that. Should this be a, a female mechanic, or, or does it matter? Well, I don't think it matters. I can run it from a male. Okay. Well, I'm not sexist. Well, well, I didn't know if you yeah. wanted something for, for visual effects. We don't need to look at other women for visual effects. Well, we don't need to look at other women for visual effects. Yes, I do. I'll, I'll admit to that. I'm sure that. You sure but do? What I'm talking about is, it, would it be better if we had someone on camera that was a female to, to, to better relate to people out there? That so she can call it a thing in the bob and a no, thing you hit you the face is No, I think she would not. Oh, well, I'd say she would if she was a female. But I, have, I do have a perfect person for that. Who would that be? 
there's a guy that I use for those kind of things, and he's a master of everything. Just by handing it. Just yeah. a good old-fashioned, yeah. they kind of used to put it on the paper, a good old-fashioned uh, handyman. Yeah, he's, he sponsors actually another program that we do called Bill Creator. And well, good I, I talk to you about a little segment. A little yeah. segment on you know, like taking care of your lawn equipment, mm-hmm. or do you really have to clean your gutters out? You know, those deep, deep mysteries of life. Do you really have to clean them out? Can you just ignore them and mm-hmm. stuff like that? Mm-hmm. That's the kind of thing you need. So, I, I need a segment like that. A handyman segment. And, see, Court knows what I'm Yeah. But, you know. Your yeah. husband does. I suppose the last is getting married just so I can get my gutters clean and my lawnmower work. Well, we, 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 we did determine that when you did live alone that you never mowed your own grass. No, I finally hired someone to mow yeah. because I had so much trouble with it. So yeah. I finally hired somebody yeah. to mow my yard. Well, you, 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 you think we ought to ask our guests today what they do in situations like that? Sure. Sure, we sure, sure. And they'll probably say, I have someone to mow my yard for me. Yeah, I bet a lot of them do. Well, it's a good sure idea. idea. It is a good idea. Why take the stress on yourself? But mowing can be relaxing. Well, it's good exercise. Yeah. And I had a flat yard. I had a flat yard near my home, so there was no, you know, no. Maybe you need an electric mower. Oh, we just turn switch and it comes on. No, just, just uh, plug it in. Plug it in with an extension cord. You, you, you unplug it right when you mow. No. You, you know, the you drag the extension cord around in the yard. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Right. No, I'm not going to do that. That's terrible. 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 <laughs> Well, you think I'm lying to you, right? No, I've seen electric ones. How about they just get one of those old ones that you just kill some little blades? They don't those at least hardly. You can well, they should them. have them. They do. Because those are very good. But if my my grass get very high, of course, you know, I have a 14-year-old, so I have a, I have a mower at home. It's called a 14-year-old. Uh-huh. You can always get a goat, too. Yeah. I don't think so. Not in the city limits. Sure you can. Yeah. Well, well, we you want to talk about the goat? We can, but you brought up something else. But I'll, I'll save that for next week. We'll be here all day. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. You'll, be, you'll be worse than the guests that, that dumped out on us. Oh, tittle, tittle, tittle. No, but I could titillate the audience. My little sister was reading a book on things you need to know about men, things you never knew about men, which it was, and yeah. five things. One of them was he likes to look at pretty women. That's <laughs> serious. That was it. That's a mystery. Right? That's, that's apparently something that when here comes in, that was apparently something that, that women don't know. And it said that, and I thought, well, duh. There are all kinds of silly things like that. So come here. This is Zena, everybody at home. This is Gil's baby, and he's our mascot. Zena, look at the camera. Is he not beautiful? So Zena runs around, and I've been dying to get Zena on camera forever. And so now Zena got to be on camera. Zena, you want to tell me who's on the show? Okay. So Mike Bean, everybody knows Mike. Uh, Mike and I are big buddies, and he's with the Human Motion Institute here in Atlanta. Now we're zooming in on you, baby. He's with the Human Motion Institute over at Baxter County Regional. And uh, he is here with Dr. Arf, and we're going to talk about foot and ankle care, which is all part of it. Remember, the Human Emotion Institute is everything that works around bodies, and uh, Baxter County Region is trying to make sure it all works well and for a long time. Uh, and then we have uh, two individuals I have met for the first time, Wayne Roth and Elaine Ryder, who are part of the Baxter County Patriots. It's like they're looking for all of us. Uh, so they'll sure be on Saturday night. Nice. So we're going to talk to them about the Baxter County Patriots, and then, last but not least, we'll visit with Bob Chess, the mechanic of Ford Mayor. Uh, and uh, he owns Strip Industries, and he will be talking to us about the bucket head bath. Now, uh, see, you need to be real careful with some oil in my lap here. So, tell everybody we'll see them in a little while, and don't go away, because we'll be right back, and we'll be talking to Mike and Dr. Hart. 